I'm Serena Myers. I'm a brand strategist in BC, and I'm on a mission to bring more beautiful brands into this world. Oftentimes when people are rebranding, it's because the missing element from their existing brand is them. So they're going out and they're having this beautifully copywritten work. They have these great stock photos, but there isn't any them in their brand and therefore it doesn't feel like them. And they're not being able to have the connections that they could otherwise have if they were shining their light just a tiny bit brighter. Oftentimes they don't even realize that they're doing it. Um, sometimes it's a confidence issue and certainly the trend that I see a lot of times is people who are just learning to be more visible and to step into their power and to put themselves in the limelight. It can be a bit of a daunting task, especially if you're not used to being comfortable um, sharing what you do or you feel that it's bragging or talking about yourself. But here is the catch. The world needs your magic. So when you're dimming your light and you're playing small, you're actually denying the world of the beauty that you have to offer. This concept of authenticity isn't just for entrepreneurs. It's really important that you're having this authentic experience in all facets of your life. With first dates, everybody kind of puts their best foot forward and they're on very good behavior and they're avoiding certain hot topics and keeping everything uh, really even keeled and, and comfortable. But at the end of the day, like sometimes create this artificial experience as to who we are. And it really actually makes it hard for people to really get to know us. So we're not only doing a disservice to ourselves by not honoring that part of ourselves, but we're also doing a disservice to the people who are trying to connect with us and get to know us or do business with us or whatever. Having an authentic experience is really important just for your own self care. It can be completely exhausting trying to be something that you're not. So if you're constantly trying to like tweak what you're trying to say and add a little bit more polish, a little bit more sheen, that could be really tiresome. You end up feeling like you're sort of living a double life and that's just completely exhausting. So full disclosure, I'm having an authentic experience right now. I have messy hair, I'm filming this in my stairwell, I have cats that are threatening to jump on camera, and I'm doing this because I am the good, the bad, the ugly. I am raw, I am not polished, so I like to be able to put myself out there and be exactly who I am. I communicate in Facebook groups from the majority of my networking, and I have to tell you, the things that get the most responses are not when I'm having these perfectly like crafted, copyright, copywritten experiences, they're when I'm sharing my vulnerabilities, they're when I'm talking about how great it is to work without your pants on or when I talk about paying my bills like a Disney princess like they're ridiculous silly little things but they're relatable and they're me and that's why people engage so since this whole video is all about authenticity I figure I should probably tell you why I put this together I'm entering a contest for Chantal Adams shine live event that's happening in September in Kelowna BC and I need your help every like comment and share that this video gets is going to put me one step closer to being able to share the stage with some women I really admire who are out they're rocking their brightest, most brilliant, most authentic selves. If this video or my other content resonates with you, would you please do me a favor, like this video, comment in the box below, and share this with your network to help me get one step closer to the stage. And if you're going to be joining me at Shine, then please let me know because I would love to see you there.